get the feds. I'm waiting. For an apology. You owe me one, Luke. All right. I am sorry that all we do is fight anymore. I am not sorry for speaking the truth. The truth? My husband is not romantically involved with Catherine Bell. That's the truth. Okay, now try my dog plays French horn for the Boston Pops. Oh, go away! Hey, you can't kick me out. This isn't your house. Oh, having a nice visit, are we? I'm so glad. What about Lucas? It's all arranged. I'm happy to do it. So, uh, where are you headed? Arizona. Business, you say? Hospital, computers. Thank you, Tony. I'll call you. Justice. Oh, hi. Uh, how you doing? Uh, 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 sorry just to barge in, but uh, I was just on my way home, driving by. No problem. Is everything okay? It's fine. Good. See you. Bye-bye now. Sorry about the timing. Hey, uh, Luke Gardy knows about the custody suit. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just pass on the good news. There was a ruling by a state appeals court. It'll set a precedence that will be helpful. Actually, Justice, I'm uh, beginning to rethink this a bit. What? Well, it's uh, sort of occurred to me that Maybe taking my son away from his mother is not really the best option. In a custody battle over Lucas is only going to hurt him. Well, what about the harm that's done by long-time exposure to the Cassidines? Your son has no defense against that, Tony. Stefan and Bobby haven't spirited him off to Greece. I mean, he's here. He's available to me. And she comes directly to me when she's going out of town. I think joint custody's working out fine. So you've made up your mind to drop the suit? Not entirely. I'm backing off. Well, it's your call. But uh, keep in mind that the longer you wait, the harder it's going to be to present a case that will impress the court. I understand that. Just let me know. You'll be the first. Have a good evening. See you, Justice. Let me get this straight, Tony. You, you're calling off the custody suit because you think Bobby's judgment is better now than it was when you first filed? That about sums it up. Well, I wonder how Carly's going to feel about it. Hey, I don't want any advice from you about Carly. Do you want my advice about Laura? Hell no. All right, then. Fine. Fine. You know something? You're okay with me. Thanks, Doc X, bro. In-law. <laughs> Wish my sister felt the same way. So it didn't go well between the two of you? Well, what do you think, you know? I can't play her game, Tony, and I, I, I got the chronic disorder called I gotta speak my mind. Well, it's a losing battle because she won't listen to a single thing that's bad about Stefan. Yeah. I hope this trip she's on is safe. Well, look, what the heck? We gonna go uh, celebrate your birthday or what? It's or what? I'm working tonight. Okay. Some of us have to make a little. All bit. right, well, happy birthday. Thanks. See you later. Thank you. Uh, would you mind getting... I miss you already. So what am I supposed to do without you for days at a time? Miss me more. Well, I think you need to give me something that I can take with me. A memory that I can pull out. Be my pleasure.
They'd even laugh even more if they knew you came down to Port Charles to try to take me down for nothing. Murder! You can't touch me, Tiger. My lawyers have lawyers. I am out of your reach. You are out of your league, and this conversation is over. Don't you walk away on me! Bu bust me! Come on! Go ahead, bust me. Take out your badge, make up a crime, haul me in for loitering. I'll get out in three hours, and you'll be out of a job. You lost, Taggart. Just like Dee. Way, way, whoa. Go ahead. Come on. I could kill you right now. Go ahead, then. But you better give it your best shot and make it count, because, see, I got people who will avenge me. And unlike you, they get the job done. Pardon me, boys. Private shootout? Or can any clown with a gun join in? Mr. Corinthos? Taking the night air? I'm just minding my own business. Detective Taggart seems to have a problem with that. Well, maybe he's lonely. I haven't seen him in... How long's it been since my last false arrest? Two months? You miss me? Too busy trying to shut down a heroin ring to keep track of whether you and Stefan Cassidy's are hidden points. But not to worry. When one of you shows up dead, I'll be there to arrest the other. Take him seriously, because he was trained by the best. I'm still on you, Sonny, for as long as it takes. Wrong, detective. What's that idiot one now? Sonny. Sonny. Hey, Corinthos, what's up? I want Deke alive. Deke, your stepfather. I want Deke alive so I can kill him. I want to be able to pull the trigger myself. What the hell are you talking about? Taggart's grudge. So happens he was my stepfather's protege. My stepfather busted him when he was 14, gave him a dose of tough love, and put his little feet on the straight and narrow path to cophood. Taggart thinks you're going to love this that my stepfather, the wife-beating pig, is the best man he ever knew. God, it doesn't get out much. He looked me straight in the face, and he accused me of hitting my own mother. I guess Deke told him that, and he believed it. I should have, oh, man. I should have killed him before. Taggart? Mom, well, Deke. I thought about it so many times, you know, I... I'd be in class with my back on fire because of the last beating. I'd, I'd cut P.E. so I wouldn't have to change my shirt and have anybody see my marks. I think about where he would hide his gun. I think about how easy it would be for me just to pull the trigger before he could hit us again. I didn't yet. I guess my mother. Maybe I was scared of this little boy, you know. Anyway, Deke's dead. The only way he's gonna win is if I do something stupid. So hire an independent contractor. I just wait. Tag is right about the drugs, he's all over him. Which either means he's real dedicated. Or he's real dirty. And I need to find out which. If he's bad, I want to know who he's working for. How many good cops do you know who'd be willing to just gun down a private citizen? Probably quite a few. What are you doing here? I'm, uh, well, See, those uh, fine Havana cigars that I smoke in bulk, I, I don't buy them at the supermarket. 
Oh, you got a source I don't know about. Yeah, several. Well, I'll give you a lift. I got my car's parked. No, I'm uh, I'm waiting for Lucky. You bring your kid along on uh, black market trips? Well, sure. I figure it's an important part of his education. Good night, Mr. Grantoff. Thanks, buddy. You're late. Did I miss something? What? Oh, no, no, the pigeon flew. Something happened here. But you're late. What happened? Oh, listen, I, uh, I stopped by home. I got a letter from Mom. Oh, yeah? There's probably pictures. Is Lulu driving a car yet? I don't know. I didn't open it. Allow me. You... And Dad, I don't know about you, but I feel like sometimes letters just make it worse. Her friends are. Of course she's not scared on a pony. <sighs> you know, uh, your mother's a near-perfect woman, but sometimes her handwriting is like an Escher drawing. We're, we gotta go to the club and, and, and read this. You think we'll lose grown? Oh, yeah, sure, man. Look at where she stands next to your mother. I can't believe we're away from him again. You know, I mean, last time... There's Beecher's Corners, an hour in a car, and we're there. Now it's like six in a plane. <laughs> Lulu was a baby. You know, it was all subconscious. I mean, now she probably expects me to come in at night and read her a story or dance with her. I just don't think she understands why we're not there. I know it sucks. Cowboy, we're playing the hand we've been dealt. There's nothing else we can do. Well, this ain't poker, Dad. This is life. My little sister's two, going on three. Taking her first pony ride. That's never gonna happen again. We're missing it. I just don't think it's worth... Cowboy, look, you don't have to stay in the old poor chuckle to take care of me. That's kind of not the point, Dad. I mean, I can put you on a plane tomorrow morning. By tomorrow night, you'll be in Switzerland. You can tuck Lulu into bed, and you can bring Mom up to date on what's going on here. Yeah, but you'd still be here. Yeah, because I have to. You want us all under one roof, I know. Wasn't that the plan? We'd all go over there for however long it took Grandma to get well. I, I don't know what we're waiting for anymore. Lucky, I got a sister, too. Now, Lulu's got you, she's got me, she's got your mom. And you know that because you've always had your mother and me. That's what you're missing right now, to all of us. And so am I, believe me. But see, I'm all my sister's got. Uh, you know, just like you, I figure it's my job to make sure she doesn't toddle around and smack her head against the coffee table. I just can't bail out on her. You did. At least you said you did. Well, I say a lot of things. Damn. I, mean, I, I remember saying that you, you should pay back the money that I loaned you, well, that Dad, you lost Dad, I'm when working you on that, man. I'm not voting to throw Aunt Bobby to the wolves, okay? I mean, believe me, I'm... I'm happy she's not exiled anymore, you know? But she's not a little girl anymore. She can take care of herself. If she wants to be Mrs. Castein, there's nothing we can do about it, Dad. I just don't get why we have to stick around here like we're married to him also.
Barbara. I seem to have caught that insomnia of yours that comes and goes. thinking about tomorrow. I guess. Well, you know, Lucas will be fine. In fact, Nicholas offered to pick him up after school for Tony. Oh, I know. I'm just not really sure why I'm going. Well, for me, I suppose. But I'm not really sure why you want me to. Are you worried that I'm packing you off so I can revisit the deadly quiet of my bachelor days? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just that I'm the last person that I would want choosing software to run the hospital. No, I disagree. I think I'm being a smart CEO. When you select furniture, do you need to know how it's made? No. You want to see that it's comfortable. Is it too large, too small? How well it suits you now, how well it will in two years. These are the things the people who will use the new system will want addressed. You're representing them, not me. Hmm. Maybe it's just that there's a compliment in there about my judgment somewhere that I'm not used to getting. Well, then it's long overdue. Oh, I don't know about that. My judgment on some things at times has been questionable. Well, you know, I would come with you if I could. But I'll, I'll be so busy here. If hating Bobby's husband was all there was to it, we'd already be sitting on an alp learning to yodel watching Leslie study ink blots, but there's a lot more to it than that, son. My sister's walking a barbed wire tightrope. I cannot leave her without a safety net. I mean, look what happens. She goes, she goes to ask a few questions. She looks into the coroner's report about your grandmother's supposed death, and suddenly she's almost burnt toast. You don't think that was an accident? Do you? If it was an accident, it's the exact kind of accident you can expect whenever anybody tries to pin down a catheter. You see, Bobby's been asking all these questions. And so far, she hasn't come up with anything, but she will. And when she does, she's not going to be quiet about it. She's no Catherine Bell, believe me. My sister could eat her for lunch. So what's going to happen? I mean, you know, I, I, what can I do? I can't force her to dump that bag of rancid goat cheese she calls her husband. I can only wait for her to do it herself and be there the next time she smells smoke. Uh, retrieve from local dip? A meeting the computer you have your hands on. Oh, why don't they just say that? Select directory. Okay, I know what that means, but I don't like anything being called a directory. It doesn't have phone numbers in it. Now, you see, this is one of dozens of samples I'm sent, and you know exactly what's wrong with this one. Didn't I tell you you were the logical choice for this job? I just can't figure you out sometimes. What do you mean? Oh, it's more than just your moods. It's on that air of mystery, I guess. It's, it's all those things that were in you long before I ever even met you. And I guess those are the things that I find very attractive in you. But... But what? I am proud of a few things in my life. And I do have a certain amount of respect and respectability in my job at GH, but even so, all of that doesn't add up to being the kind of woman that 
I expect you to be with. Who would that woman be? Oh, strong, assertive, traveled, witty, gracious, poised. Oh, what did I do? Stefan? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> I was making me select something, and then I got startled, and I don't know what I did, but... This file popped up, and what was that noise? Oh, a, a platter fell over. What file? I don't know. I didn't see much of it, but the screen froze, so we turned it off. Anyway, I think I learned enough for one night. What's wrong, Barbara? Oh, nothing's wrong. You know, I just think the hour caught up with me or something. And if I don't get some rest, I'm going to be hopelessly fuzzy and jet lagged for the first few days of my trip. All right. The uh, helicopter will be here around 7 to pick you up. Helicopter? Yes, to take you to the Cassidyne jet so that you don't have to uh, worry about getting yourself to the mainland or the airport. You've thought of everything, haven't you? I've tried. Well, go on ahead of me. Uh, I will be up in a few minutes. I want to check the rest of the doors and windows. I can be without tipping the barrel over and sending the Cassidines underground. And I can't do that because that would leave Bobby yeah. without protection. I, I get it, Dad, okay? Listen, I'm... I'm in it with you for the long haul. I mean, I stayed. But why do we have to be so grim about it? Grim? Who's grim? Who's grim? Who's grim? So, uh, what are you doing tonight? I'm open, actually. I'm really? Open. Yes. Your 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 uh, your uh, schedule is free. How uh, how about we go over to the club and uh, make for a fine horse party? We. Oui. We. Oui. Moi. Moi. Let's go and uh, keep up with me if you can. Oh, I think I can keep up. With you. Ten bucks that you can. What? Ooh, what? Hey, hey, run in there and tell Cook that we want a couple of burgers, extra on the cheese fries. We gotta stay. You in got it. You got it. Hey, whoa, 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 you're forgetting something. Hey. Oh, well, I, you're lucky I didn't throw you in front of a bus. <laughs> I won. Baba, how's up? Man, what's going on here? Where's the crowd? What's with this music? Well, I, uh, I thought about scraping one tooth Al off the park bench and letting him play Moon River on his comb, but uh, he was already snapped up by the Salvation Army for this spring dance. What are you trying to say hey, to me? Hey, Dad, the burgers are coming. Okay, here, take this. Oh, what, what, what is this? What? Uh, this is the down payment on your new job. What's that? Consider yourself the booking agent for Loops. Come on, man, we gotta get this place happening again, huh? All right. Okay, you up for that? I'm on. All right, goodbye. You lost yeah. out on that one. Hi. Hey, uh, where's Tom tonight? I thought he might be with you. I'm gonna go call the babysitter. Ooh. Thought it was chilly outside. Well, she still hasn't got over uh, Tom lying to her for so long. Hey, look, as long as we got a minute, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check something out with you. Do you know that you got a real problem going on, Bubba? You got a rope cop in Detective Taggart. <laughs> Oh, 
note, when you offered me this job, you never mentioned anything about posting my work date. I'll push you. Have a seat. Right here. Oh, boy. Sit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm only doing this to take a deal. All right. Time's up. Where are you going? I have a surprise for you. What? Okay, and uh, you'll do the same for me, right, Bubba? I mean, in case your people turn up anything suspicious about that fire in the GH records. Thanks. Go. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. 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 Yeah, hey, okay, How I'm are you working doing? on some stuff here. Now, don't freak out because some of these scripts are going to be kind of hard to get, but we got BB, so... We'll you know, start at the top. Or you too. Yeah, they can do it all, man. And they work with Beebe. Right, Eric Clapton, Tracy Chapman, Billy Joel, Ron Stewart. Yeah, yeah well, it looks to me like you got some phoning to do tomorrow. Okay. Okay, okay. uh, 80 50%. Take my keys. Now, look, I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, you tend to get a little, a little wired with too much caffeine. Really? Do I? I get wired? You think it's a caffeine? <laughs> Have you heard from Sonny? No. Well, he's over a half hour late. Give me the phone. I'll give him a call. Yeah, well, uh, listen, you don't... You don't have to worry about Sonny. What are you talking about? Brenda came to see him last night. What are you two looking at? Well, I, I'm just a little surprised you're, you're here so well, early. I don't want to talk about it. And don't look at me like, like I'm upset and you're going to humor me because you're my wise old daddy. Polish your glass and I want to just sit right here and, and, and just have peace with my coffee. You know, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a good thing to, to open up, you know? 
to get to get another point of view can help you figure things out. I don't want to hear your point of view. I don't care what you think about Brenda. I don't care what you think about anything. I just I just want to be left alone. But uh, Luke, hey, don't drag me into this. He's having breakfast in a bar. Yeah, in my bar. Well, you should be home with your wife and your children. Corinthos, my wife's in Switzerland. Well, that's no excuse. And you, you can't even get a, a wife on account of nobody's uh, stupid enough to hey, put up. Hey, 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 what is with you this morning? <sighs> you, you pushed it, didn't you? Did it ever occur to you that it, it might not just be my problem? Truthfully, no. No? Well, it shows you how much you know. Well, why don't you just tell him? Get it over with, man. All right. All right, I'll tell you what happened. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. I come home. Brenda's there. Uh, and I think finally she's going to... She's going to admit to the way things are, the way things really are, right? But no, not Brenda. She's not admitting anything. Matter of fact, she proceeds to tell me that she's got to find herself. And you didn't listen. Listen to what? She's confused. She's got to, she's got to think. She's got to be alone. As a matter of fact, she, she moved into another hotel. Well, that's, that's, that's probably just a, you know, a temporary thing. I mean, she needs time to, to, to think things through, and then the two of you will be back together again. Look, you know, I, I think this to be a very, very positive thing. Mike, for God's sake, let it go. Yeah, but I just wanted to... All right, that's a good idea. So, I, uh... I hear Jason drove, uh... Robin back to Yale. Was her visit, uh... No, no, you know, now you're gonna go in on this. Mike. I, I gotta tell you, like, all the time, I just want to be left alone. Oh, man. Plug him, put him in a wheelchair, and then hire him to work for you. What's wrong with this picture? Now look, um, mind if I ask a dumb question here, Luke? If Cassidyne did put that bullet in her spine, why would she go to work for him? I don't know. As I was Joseph, he just saw Cassidyne go into Captain Bell's apartment. Well, it looks like you're going to have a permanent visitor on your floor for a while. Well, what am I missing? Have you, um, do you think Cassidyne could be working some kind of blackmail scheme? Well, if anybody's going to be doing any blackmailing, it's going to be her, because if she fingers him as the shooter, it's going to be bye-bye Cassidyne. Well, unless they're playing nasty with the wheelchair. Oh, well, come on. I mean, it's not stretching a little bit. I mean, the, the, the woman is paralyzed from the waist down. Can't you think they happened? In my house. <laughs> Luke, Mike speaking. Yeah, Sonny, sure, he's right. <laughs> Oh, that was quick. I was in there for three hours. You're right. How did your exams go? Did you ace calculus? No, not quite. There was this one problem I messed up on. I couldn't get the differential or... Save your breath. It's all Greek to me. This remark doesn't make any sense when you speak Greek, does it? Anyway, Mr. Richards and Mademoiselle de Vivier said that the rest of my test scores are excellent. Good for you. You know, your uncle's going to be very pleased, even though he expects no less from you. But where is he, anyway? Three guesses. Mrs. Lansbury said I should just come right in. Well, hi there. I take it you didn't have any trouble finding the place? As easy as falling off a launch. Well, to my knowledge, I don't think we've lost anyone that way. Have we? You two know each other, don't you? This is my cousin Nicholas, Ned Ashton, CEO of ELQ, among other things. The number's dwindling, but I appreciate the thought. How are you, Nicholas? Very well, thanks. Nicholas just spent the morning getting tested by his tutors, but he came out with flying colors. Good for you. Thanks. Um, excuse me, I'm gonna 
Go grab some lunch. You know something? Go spend the day doing something fun. You've earned it. Good job. Don't stop now. You know, when I told Miranda about what happened, she was as thrilled and as excited as if it had happened to her. And in a way, it sort of is. She's reliving her own experience. You know, she has turned out to be such a great friend in such a short amount of time. So will she be able to stay at the hospital with you? Yeah, she says she'll stay until after the doctors are done checking me out and they can tell me everything I need to know. Sorry. Stefan. I couldn't have done this without you. You know that, don't you? the key that you gave me because you said the nurse wasn't going to be here and I didn't want to bother you with No, it's fine. Door. Really, Nicholas. The most wonderful, exciting thing happened. I was at the bars, I let go, and I stood all by myself. What? Well, that that's great news. I mean, did you plan on trying that or, or, or what? Tell me how you feel. Like I ran a marathon, so I guess it really happened. Oh, oh man. I, 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 wish, I wish you would have been here. So do I. But uh, your uncle stopped by to bring my new computer that I'm going to be working on, and, and he saw the whole thing. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Wow. And uh, I'm glad that I could be of help. But I really must be going. Uh, if you have any more problems with the computer or the new program, uh, please let me know. I will, and uh, thank you again. You're more than welcome. Uh, Nicholas, could you... Uh, Accompany Miss Bell to the hospital. She has a follow-up examination. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'd be glad to. No, really. I don't want you wasting your free time. It's okay. Well, congratulations again, and, uh... Nicholas, I'll see you later. <laughs> I even like you're gonna jump out of that chair and just take off right now. <laughs> you know, I might just do that. I am running on pure adrenaline. I, I don't know when I have felt so good and so hopeful. You know, I can't wait to tell Tony and the other doctors and start planning the rest of my recovery. I bet that I will be able to speed up that therapy and get out there faster. You know, this is the first time that I really believe that I am going to be my old self again. Maybe I'll even be better. Oh, oh I'm going anywhere. I'll get that. And hello. Yeah, we'll be right down. Car's here. Great. Let's roll. Oh. My computer. I want it near me. You know, in case I want to do any work or anything. Thank you. No. I have never seen you like this before. That's because you've never seen me so happy. But I will be from now on. something that's not entirely on the up and up. He's still not in his office? All right, when he calls in for his messages, will you tell Mr. Cassidyne that I need to get in touch with him right away? Thank you. Must be difficult. Keeping track of your wandering cousin.
like you may be. I do hope security gave you a once-over with those handheld metal detectors. I haven't touched a gun since... Ooh, well, since the one I dropped that your cousin picked up and shot Catherine Bell with. But you could still be packing explosives. I imagine you don't leave home without them. You want to search me? Come on. You kind of like me. You can turn off the twinkling, Mr. Spencer. Oh, come on. You know you do. Oh, all right. You got me. I guess amoral, manic obsessives amuse me. Oh, now you're talking sweet to me, baby. See? You're crazy about me. Mm. So, were there any changes in motor control reports? As delightful as chatting with the enemy may be, is there a point to your being here? Your animal magnetism. Besides that? I promise not to tell Stefan. Oh, word of honor. I've got this fleet of hauling barges with big hooks in Spoon Island, and by dawn, they'll have dragged it all the way up to the Canadian border. Well, what if Canada doesn't want Cassidines? We'll be boat people. Not you. Because you'll be here with me. I need you. You're the warm, fuzzy Cassidine, the one I can tolerate. I knew that the first minute you cold cocked. I'm sure you can find dozens of volunteers to knock you unconscious on a regular basis. Unless there's something else you needed me for. Well, my wife's out of town. I don't do laundry. But I understand your sister is just a habit she refuses to be broken of. Is all this joviality a way to find a new link to Bobby? A link? I'm her brother. That's a link. I don't need third parties. It's my understanding that you're barely on speaking terms. Well, no, we don't speak to each other, but the rest of it's there. If oh. it's an... Excuse me. Uh, hey, Luke. Uh, Hi. Listen, I'm uh, running a little bit late right now. Uh, and Tony, gonna... there's no problem. We've got the handball court the rest of the afternoon. Okay, but my afternoon's pretty tight, and apparently one of my appointments is late right now, unless I was in OR and... Have you seen Catherine Bell? Well, she was at the Quartermains, but that was hours ago. Sorry to interrupt you guys, but um, I just got off the phone with Bobby in Arizona, and she's looking for Mr. Cassidyne. Do you happen to know where he is? I know I may look like a surveillance camera posted here, but I don't. And if I talk to him, I'll tell him that she called. Thanks. I just hope to God that what I'm thinking is wrong. What are you thinking? going on with Catherine Bell, and whether I'm entitled to or not, I have strong feelings about it. She's begun to walk again? Blondie walked? Uh, well, she took a step. Now, how much that mobility signifies, uh, I hey, won't know well, until Tony, I see no her. wonder you're upset. That's a medical miracle, right? And, and you're not there to observe it. Yeah, and I can't wait around for it. Lucas is going to be out of school. I'm sorry for the interruption. You rescued a damsel in distress. You made me late for a meeting. Is this part of your diabolical plan? I warn you, I bear watching. Why don't you come over to the club some night and watch me? I'll tell you what. Hold your breath. Clever. <laughs> Forget Catherine Bell. Let's get out of here. I'll go with you to pick up Lucas. You know, you make no sense to me. This is enemy territory, man. I was playing with you. Somebody. Handball? Hi, Amy. Well, excuse me if I can't shrug it off. But just when Stefan and Catherine disappear from sight, Bobby's out of town. If he hurts her as badly as I did, Bobby may get over it, but I won't. Hey there. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a private conversation or can a homesick roommate join in? Well, when'd you get back? About an hour ago. I probably should have called, but uh, I wanted to surprise you. Can I have a hug? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I just, I was thinking about some other things. Luke and I were discussing some things, and... I uh, got you a little something from Florida. It's kind of a combination birthday present, because I missed you Thank you. So much. You didn't have to do that. Well, we didn't get to celebrate your birthday before I left. You know what I love from Florida? It's those little orange candied balls that come in the wooden crates. <gasps> I wish I'd uh, thought to ask you to pick me some up. Next trip. How's your friend? 
Um, she's better. I'm, I'm glad I went. I'm sure she is, too. So, um, what were you guys talking about out here? It sounded like I heard the name Cassidine. Something happened while I was gone? Oh, uh, excuse me. That's probably the hospital. I West Virginia. She, uh, they released her from the hospital. But she's, uh, weak. You know, I should probably go back and stay with her. I mean, she doesn't have any money, and she needs somebody to take care of her. What's to stop you? Well, how am I going to explain to Tony why I have to make a second trip to visit a friend that I've never mentioned before? It's easy. She had a relapse, and she doesn't have any family around to take care of her. You know, stick to the truth whenever possible. You enjoy the hell out of this, don't you? No. What's to enjoy, Caroline? Watching you live a lie? It's going to get uglier, too, the longer it goes on. G, right? No, it's basketball. What do you want? To get away from you as soon as possible. Here. Look, I didn't ask for this job. I was stuck with it, okay? What is it? Well, seems to be a letter. <sighs> well, if it's from Laura, I'm not interested. Oh, Nikki. Yeah. Forget about it. You can do your ballet. Is it from Leslie? This? Why didn't she send it to me like she did the last one? Why don't you go to Switzerland and ask her? <laughs> Writing awfully steady these days, isn't she? You don't want it? better? Completely changed. What, is her, is her memory back? She's getting there. She remembers something new every day. It's a matter of time. Well, what about my uncle? Did she say anything about my uncle? The Quartermains are in the press every day. And every story makes mention about the fact that Alan Quarterman is the hospital's chief of staff, which makes the hospital look bad, which makes the Cassidines look bad. And who wants the Cassidines to look bad? Luke Spencer. He's behind this. I know that he is. I don't know how, but he is. Listen, if you want to continue to net surf, go right ahead. We can just pick this up at another time. Spencer's not involved. He's a dangerous man. You know that better than anyone. Maybe. But I think he might be finding it difficult concentrating with Laura out of town. He wouldn't be the first person to be distracted when his wife was out of town. Did you start without me? I wouldn't dream of it. How's Emily? She's going to be fine. Good. What I want to focus on now is damage control. My family in this hospital has been dragged to the press enough, and I don't want to see Emily portrayed as just another freak in the Quartermain sideshow. Any suggestions? Yes, I do. We'd be proactive. All right, we flood the media with as much positive publicity as we can muster. The hospital just received its highest state evaluation in years, so we'll concentrate on that. Perfect. Have the hospital issue a statement giving most of the credit to Alan for this high rating. Uh, his professionalism, his personal integrity, yada, yada, whatever. I mean, I know that's not going to stop the media from attacking us, but... The hospital policy. We don't invade the privacy of the staff. End of discussion. Works for me. Good. Stefan? It sounds reasonable enough. However, before we implement anything of a public relations nature, we should consult Catherine Bell. Time is not on our side here. We need to move on this as quickly Her as possible. Her input will be invaluable. It always is. Look, 
You get a letter from your grandma, and all you can ask about is your uncle. Well, see, the truth is important to me. But I guess you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I don't have time for this. Try not to stay in touch, all right? Wait a second. Did she say that he helped her? I want to know. That's what he told you, isn't it? Yeah. But why do you need to hear it from her, huh? You know, what's the difference? I'm not going to believe you anyway. She doesn't remember a thing about your uncle, man. All she can remember is poor Charles before your uncle got his claws into her. Well, tell me, what did her doctor say? I stopped listening. Well, it, Lucky, is there, is there a prognosis? Do they expect her entire past to come back? And what? When? Later. I'm behind the bar. You. You think you can handle one of these, Cowboy? To start? Well, all right, then. It's your liver. What is this, water? That's right, and it ain't that no. sissy bottle stuff, man. This crap came right from the tap. That's not funny. <laughs> it's funny. If you're not going to drink, sit down. with his head a little, he wound up fighting for it. Good. Yeah. Once you tore it open, he had a million questions, man. I just told him that uh, Grandma still didn't know anything about his uncle. I could tell he couldn't wait to spread the news. Good. That's what we want, Stefan to think that he's home free, so we got plenty of time to get Lucas and Bobby out before we move on. Well, you did good work. Nice to have you home. Yeah, it's great to be here. Lucky, I take it you didn't hear anything about Emily Quartermain today. No, I just, I haven't spoken to her since I got back. She OD'd. What? She OD'd. She's alive. She's in the hospital. But it's serious. Tony Jones is her doctor. He told me that she was still unconscious when we spoke. That's when? On what? Heroin. Yesterday. Lucky, did you know that she was on smack? No. What? <laughs> oh, who'd she get? Who gave it to her? I don't know. Sonny's working on it. Sonny? I want to talk to Sonny. Well, Sonny is isn't here. here. He, he's gone, but he'll be back. He'll be back later. I'm going to the hospital. Well, you can do that, but I don't think they're going to let you see her, particularly if she's unconscious. Why don't you make a call and find out? social skills, Caroline. Your manners suck. I could have been having a conversation here. I don't see anyone. We had an appointment. Have you got something to tell me? Yes. 
I just came from Catherine Bell's house, and I found out that Stefan was there when she took her first step. Figures. Yeah, and I also found out while we're there in the middle of a physical therapy session, she gets an email. She goes rushing out of the house. Pretty sure it was from him. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she said she needed her car and her driver. And that's, you know, that's about it. That's very good, you know? You just might be better at this than I thought. Yeah, well, spying on Catherine Bell is not something I want to excel at. Really? That's too bad, because it's a very admirable, good, solid quality to acquire. <laughs> Sneaking around behind people's back, trying to figure out who's jumping into bed with who? It's not my idea of a good anything. That is a private matter between two people, and it's nobody else's business. I couldn't agree more. How is Virginia? She is better. Can I go? Oh, uh, not yet, not yet. What is this? Open it. Alexis Davis. Alexis, hi, it's Nicholas. Is my uncle around? Uh, no, he said he had an urgent business matter. It, it came up and he rushed off to a meeting. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Um, I just got another letter from Leslie. Uh, that's nice, I, I think. Well, the good news is that she's remembering things all the time, but the bad news is that she still doesn't remember anything about uncle. Well, all we can do is hope. Well, I heard that she's changed completely, so... Maybe it won't be too long. You heard? From, from Lucky. He's the one who gave it to me. How was that? The same. I can't wait to see the look on his face when Leslie remembers that my uncle saved her. And he and his father both look like the total idiots that they both are. Nicholas, I know how much you want this, but don't let it consume you, okay? You're right. Thanks. How about the two of us make plans to have dinner sometime this week? Just the two of us, huh? Sounds good to me. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. You really can... sneaks up on everyone. The light dimming imperceptibly. The sounds of the day slowly giving way to the softer sounds of night. Now, most people don't even notice it. How'd you find this place? Well, it's a recent acquisition. Perfect retreat, though, isn't it? Completely secluded. Miles from everything. And everyone. <laughs> 